click save file now here's did you see that arrow like that just go up to here it's sitting in here this is the whole crux of the entire information and I put this right at the beginning of the video so that it it helps you understand that this is the reason for the video C cleaner came out with an announcement this morning saying that their program uh, no longer is useful and you have to download the new version I use Windows 10 as you can see here and uh, so that's and I've already downloaded it. that's why it showed up but when you click on your C cleaner it's gonna tell you that you need to download the new version hello YouTube Lonians you're watching this video because you have C cleaner and uh, C cleaner failed to work today and it tells you you need a down a new download which you actually do so let me show you about this what is C cleaner well it, it cleans out your cache in your computer and it's worked very well for me for many years and many of my friends and family use it too I'm not being endorsed or paid to, to represent this company it's just that most of the free software that cleans out your computer actually screws up your computer and fills it with stuff that you don't want C cleaner has always worked for me really well and I'm very picky so um, I'm not endorsing it as a product but I'm just telling you that if you do have C cleaner and if you trust it and you've been using it even if you don't trust it and you want to use it um, here's how to download it using the uh, Firefox browser I, I have all kinds of browsers that I use I use the, the edge browser I use Firefox and I use Chrome as well for downloads I actually prefer to use Firefox so this video is specifically showing you how to download using Firefox because when you download a program uh, you're going to need to use or know where to that it puts your file uh, C cleaner is made by this company called Piriform download C cleaner well they give you the same screen if you go into it this way and I do recommend rather than clicking other people's links that you just go straight to the source here it is piriform C cleaner downloads so you go right to the download page this is where you want to be folks and uh, this is the address so be super careful and make sure you get into this piriform website it should look exactly like this and it should be exactly this address all right I'm super careful because I don't want your computer to get full of junk that you don't want and if it does don't contact me please you're responsible for your own computer I'm just showing you how I update mine okay now to the meat and potatoes which is my favorite food download get the free one when you click that it's gonna ask you click save file now here's did you see that arrow like that just go up to here hmm that's a slight small hint it's sitting in here so if you're using Firefox as a browser and you're downloading it's gonna put it in where this little arrow is where the downloads are now if that doesn't show up if you don't see the little arrow next to here then right click on this taskbar up here and check menu bar and check bookmarks toolbar I'm gonna shut that off so this is where you want to be you don't need bookmarks you need menu bar it's kind of like talking about the lunchroom you go to your menu open that up click it once there it is it's sitting in your downloads so if you lost it there you can find it in your downloads file you can show all downloads which um, you don't need to because you just downloaded this one it's sitting there waiting for you click on it. So when you click that to install, you get the next option, and you click to install. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Once you install it, it takes a little while. It puts itself into your computer, and it'll open up and be ready to go. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that. You can also customize and uh, let it add to the desktops. Obviously, you want that, so you see it on your desktop. And... Uh, like mine I put that out here I run this at least once a day or twice a day uh, it does wipe out your passwords so make sure you have them written down before you ever use it that's very important because if you wipe out your passwords and you don't have them written down 
you're screwed. <laughs> You'll have to contact each place and get your password restored. Not a smart thing. By the way, don't type up your passwords and keep it in your computer. It's very easy for hackers to find that file. Even if you name it my favorite dog or something obscure like that. They'll find it because they can also search the text. Um, so keep your passwords written down by hand and keep them in a safe place. And uh, there you are. That's, that's your sea cleaner. And once it opens up, you run your cleaner and your computer will be working as fast as it should be after it's done. I just ran mine, so it's going to, yeah, and it says you need to close browsers and things. Of course, you would put yes, because it needs to close those browsers in order to run effectively. All right, there you have it, people of the universe. You now can clean out your computer. Make sure, instead of analyze, make sure to run cleaner. I run mine at least two or four times in a row because it misses a few things because files are open. I run it until you get one file left, temporary file, which is what it just did. So if you like this video, thumbs up. I recommend subscribing because I don't just do boring computer videos. We actually have a lot of other fun things that we uh, upload each week. This month during Vlogmas, I'm doing a daily video. You might like it, especially if you like cats and dogs and family time. Thanks for watching. Pass this on to your friends. If this was helpful to you, pass it along through social media, and I'd be ever so appreciative. Make sure to make comments below if, if things don't work so that others can learn from you. Thank you.